In relation to our ancestry, I, I'm, I'm trying to research for a long period of time until Kyle here uh, came up with the idea that uh, our great-great-grandfather was an Edward Donoghue, and his wife was a Winifred Glennon. Now, there's one thing, one mystery there is we can't, we, there's no record in any of the families of a Winifred. So there's some mystery there in relation to in, la in relation to her. But when I was quite small, probably six or seven or eight years of age, I asked my late grandfather, who was the eldest of the family, where we came from, and he told me, which was disputed by my uncle <laughs> later on. <laughs> but I distinctly remember telling us, telling me, that three brothers came to South Roscommon, and they came from County Kilkenny, where I live presently myself and that we are one branch of that family. And John James here is descending from uh, the other wing of that branch. And the third in element of the family are, are non-existent. Uh, from Kyle's research here, it would appear that we weren't, there was an, an old uh, diocesan uh, record from the 1700s, and there were no done who was on it. So it would appear that we, we would have come to a county Roscommon somewhere in the early 1800s, which would mean possibly that Edward Donoghue's father was possibly the one of the first. So it, I'd be anxious to find anyone who can have, go further research and see if there any truth in that. and see Because in Kilkenny, where I currently live in the city, out in the road, there's a place there called Gores Bridge. Some of you that are interested in horses might be familiar with it. And they do horse sales there. And they spell their name D-O-N-O-H-O-E. And there are a couple of other families in Kilkenny as well. And there are not too many Dunhoos in Kilkenny, but all the Dunhoos that are there spell their name D-O-N-O-H-O-E. And as you know from the history of the Dunhoos, our family spelling has gone haywire. <laughs> we have D-O-N-O-H-O-E, we have D-O-N-O-H-U-E, we have D-O-N-O-G-H-U-E. But the right one, as far as I'm concerned, from the old family trees uh, is D-O-N-O-H-O-E. So I'd recommend you all recommend change your names to Christ. <laughs> oh, thank you very much.